I decided to build my own app to analyze the performance of other YouTube channels. And I did it in less than a day by using ChatGPT and Streamlit. And in this video, I'll guide you through the process of building it and show you how to access the app for free. Keep watching. Why the heck did I do this in the first place? Because I wanted to understand why some of my competitors' videos perform better than mine. For instance, this video is by someone who admits they never worked as a sales engineer, yet the video performs better than any of my videos. Why? There's obviously some tools on the market that allow you to analyze competitors, but they are f***ing expensive, especially if you're a small YouTube channel not making any money. Also, I hate paying for stuff I know I can do on my own. My app downloads and displays a certain amount of stats for any given YouTube channel. Each video has a view count and a like count, but the views only don't tell the whole truth until you correlate them with the likes. So I'm dividing the view count with the like count and getting the so-called like rate. Why? Well, let's have a look at a very popular YouTube channel, Bald and Bankrupt, almost 4 million subscribers. If we go to the videos and click on the popular, YouTube sorts the videos by number of views, suggesting that the most popular video with the audience is the one with the highest number of views. If we go to the spreadsheet view and sort by number of views, we'll see that this video also has a very a big number of likes, but the like rate is not so great. It's 45, which means it took 45 clicks or 45 views to get one like. And there are videos in this list that actually did way better than that. For instance, the one with 25 or the one with 20. In fact, if we sort it by like rate, which is what I do, we see that the top videos, the videos that have been received best by the audience are the ones that have the lowest like rate, which means it took the least number of views to give a like. And then I would go and I would check why the video is doing so well by looking at the thumbnail, the title, the hook, the content. And this is how I would then analyze my competition. I did not invent this myself. The idea was documented in the video, small YouTubers do this to make the algorithm love you. Highly recommend to watch. In the video, the creator shows his downloading these channel statistics using vidIQ. But here's the problem. To do this with vidIQ or similar tools, you'll have to pay $39 or equivalent in your currency a month. <laughs> Damn, I thought to myself, this is a lot of money for something that I can probably do for free. I should build an app for that. I am by now quite good at building Streamlit apps. So all I needed to do is basically write some Python code that will scrape the statistics from YouTube. So I went and asked ChatGPT to produce such a code. And as it turns out, since 2012, huh? There's a YouTube API that can get you exactly this kind of stats and ChatGPT is aware of that. I asked it for a few more refinements and error fixing and also asked it to remove below average videos, calculate the rate like and sort the output by rate like. To test this code out, I need a key for the API. Here's how to get the YouTube API key from Google for free. Log in to the Google Cloud Console using your free Gmail account. Once you're there, click on New Project, select the name for the project, click on Create. It will take a while while that processes. When that's done, select the project and search for YouTube V3 API or similar to find that below in the menu. Then enable that API. And the next thing you have to do is go to credentials, click on plus create credentials, select API key, and it's gonna generate a key for you. Copy and paste this key into the app. I went ahead and tested the app. Wow, it worked. The app also generates the CSV file. You can download and easily import the CSV file for further processing into a spreadsheet tool of choice. I use another free tool called Google Sheets for this. Wow, I was blown away. I got all this to work within an hour. If I stopped here, I'd already have achieved more than I have hoped. It took me another hour to play around with a streamlet code and debug issues. And it was finally time to check in this code to a GitHub repo so it doesn't get lost. <laughs> I use the GitHub CLI to do all this from the command line. It saves a lot of clicks in the GitHub UI. 
Now I could proceed to deploy the app on the cloud for anyone to use it thanks to the awesome people at Streamlit. I can host the Streamlit app on the community cloud for free. And it's extremely easy to deploy an app. All you have to do is go through a minimal UI wizard, specify your GitHub repo address, couple more details, and the app installs itself. All you need to use this app are two things, a free Google API key, and you need the ID of the YouTube channel that you want to analyze. Here's how to find out YouTube's channel ID. I'm in Chrome, I go to a channel, go to about, somewhere in the blank space, right click and select view page source. And then once I'm in this code, I type command F or control F and I search for question mark channel underscore ID equals and everything after the equal sign is the actual channel ID. So I copy that and paste it into the app. And that's it. It took less than eight hours from the idea to the app running in the cloud for anyone to use it for free. Here's a summary of what I achieved in these eight hours. I worked with ChatGPT to produce the Python code that downloads a YouTube channel stats. I packaged this code in a Streamlit app. And finally, I deployed the app on the Streamlit's community cloud for anyone to use it for free. Let me know in the comments box below which other features would you like me to add to the app. And if you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. It will help my channel grow. Stay healthy and stay tuned.